hey guys i am shek welcome all of you so in this video we'll be more studying about recursion okay so before going to this recursion let's know something about newton school as you know this video is brought in guidance with newton school so make sure that you check out our youtube channel like and subscribe it if you can share i am too obliged okay and in short if i want to tell you about newton school they are a great platform which will not only help you guys to be a master in full stack development but also it will help you to be placed at the end of uh, like your when your course gets completed it's usually six months with a package of five lakhs or above for freshers if for experience accordingly your package will be higher okay so let's get started okay so this is newton school playground i think you guys are aware of okay so let's create a playground uh, let's give it a title like uh, what do i say recursion okay so let's try to figure out recursion what is recursion okay let's take an example to understand recursion so what i'll be doing i'll be taking few examples slowly in several videos and through which you can figure out recursion like you know recursion is nothing else just uh, you can say brother and sister of uh, loops okay so how do we learn loops first we understand how the loop works okay then we do some problems on loop same pattern we are going to follow we'll first understand how does recursion works so i'll take few examples you'll figure out this is the way recursion works and then slowly slowly we'll do some interesting problems on recursion okay okay understand recursion understand recursion great okay perfect so this is plain text no i don't want a plain text i want a javascript i will say uh, i am not from javascript doesn't matter okay it has nothing to do with javascript to my entire tutorials just i'm taking a language so you can see an answer okay that's all if, if you are from any particular language doesn't matter okay so let me know if you can see it well okay i'll make it a little bigger no display it for okay i'll make it smaller okay and i will make this a little bit perfect 150 percent so like you can see it a little bit i guess perfect so let's get started so i'll take a simple example so step number one what is recursion if i ask you so in simple words like you may uh, by definition at least you know function there is a function let's call the function name as like hello okay so you will be calling hello inside itself okay so in simple words a function if it is called within itself is a recursion this is quite a definition which does not help us in any way to understand and figure out recursion right so let's do one thing let's take a small example like let's take a example like print numbers okay let's take like let's suppose i'm calling this number so currently you don't have to understand what I'm doing. So I'll giving give you a snippet of code and then we'll analyze that code. Okay. Print numbers and let's take this like what they say five. Okay. Or let's take this three so that we can focus on understanding a more. Okay. So recursion usually have two parts. The first part is called base condition. Base condition means like you can think like where does a loop stop? So at this place your recursion will basically stop. Okay. And then the other part, which will be just nothing else, just uh, like let's suppose console dot log. Okay, here I'll have n, of course, because like you're sending something, I'll receive something in the function, right? I'll print it. So simple. So currently, what I'm doing? Currently, I'm not written the base condition. Okay, so I'll just I'll write the word so that you will remember that base condition is about to come. Okay, I left this case. Okay. Let's run this function. What will you get? Without a doubt, you will get three. But no point of discussion here, right? Okay. So I will tell you, give you a simple task. Let's make it five. So it will be like a little bigger. It will be five. Okay. So I'll say, okay, perfect. What I want, I want you to print the answer from five to one. So what will you do? I'll say very simple. I will, I can do this print numbers 4 so print numbers 3 print numbers 2 print numbers 
one okay five four three two one perfect you are calling it five times or you can use a loop but i was not using a loop just to explain you a few things so this is from five to one perfect you're like okay perfect what's next the next thing is okay so <coughs> sorry <coughs> like i'm a little ill also <coughs> <coughs> so I <coughs> extremely sorry about this section. Of course, I'm not going to edit it at all. Hmm. Yeah. So from five to one, okay. So you got it from five to one. Perfect. Awesome. Now is the next thing, guys. Basically. Okay, so basically I have to call this function five times to print five numbers from five to one. Can I do it like in some better way? Like with the help of recursion, in recursion also you basically call it, but inside that thing, right? So same thing. So let's suppose t is your number, which is five. So can I write like this? We'll say t, t minus one, you will be making t minus two, be writing t minus 3 will be writing t minus 4 but yeah same thing no you perfect yeah exactly same thing hmm. so the thing is okay this is the exactly same thing i'll be writing here so you are saying whatever is the number like if this is t this will be t minus 1 so let's suppose if i name it x t minus 1 as x this will be x minus 1 so how so, uh, matlab, uh, x is let's suppose t. Okay? So, t minus 1 ko, like, uh, isko mene x maal diya hai na? t minus 1 ko. So, yes, it x minus 1 ho jake, t minus 2. Like, t minus 2, what you can write? t minus 2 is t minus 1 minus 1. So, this will be x minus 1. Perfect? Same thing. Okay. So, basically, matlab, ho kya raha hai? The same, what is happening here? is like from the previous number no? jo bhi previous number hai t usse sab sare number ek ek ghat raha hai you subtract subtraction by 1 t t minus 1 whatever is this is t minus 1 this will be 2 t minus 2 so if you compare these two difference is 1 right so this is how we you use loops when there is some like we find an interval and interval we use a loop same purpose recursion so what i'll do okay keep it here not a problem let's comment this after this I then my basic task is to print numbers from 5 to 1. So when 5 came here, okay, t is there. Okay, so let's now this was for understanding. Let's pass 5 directly. I can pass with a t, it doesn't matter. Okay. So here console.log t 5 got printed. Perfect. Now the next thing. Now what I need to, I need to decrease the value, right? I need to make the value as 4. So what I'll do and call the function again also, right? Then only I'll be able to get all these, right? What is the function name? Print function, like print number, sorry. And I'll bring n minus one. See what will happen. This is five for the first time. Five is printed. Print number four. So what will the value here? Four. What is print number? Print number is this function, right? So four, four is here. Then next time three, two, one. How this will work? Let's try to figure out. Okay. So there is basically two way to understand this. One is the stack way. Now it's okay. This is just to like if I get a lot of curve, it will stop for a certain time. I don't know how it magically works, but it works like you know long. I don't know what we call in English, right? Okay. So there are two ways to basically understand recursion. Number one is the stack way. Number two is the like what do you say a tree method. Okay, tree method is very useful for finding out uh, finding out the answer, but not applicable in all the problems. You'll understand why when we do a few problems. Okay, stack is the permanent method. Even if you don't know stack entry, like we have given it a name, so it doesn't matter to be honest. You will uh, totally understand it. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have my, what they say? Pen and pencil, online pen and pencil today. Anyway, doesn't matter. So let's figure this out. So we'll uh, for the calculation, we'll make it three. Okay, let's make it three so that we can calculate easily. Like I'm a little lazy. Okay. 
so this is okay okay hmm. so the first function is print numbers no so i'll call it t for the short form t3 so the first call that will go is t3 we will say yes p3 will be the call first i'll say okay so so when the value of in p3 what will be the value of n you will say 3 so print n is 3 perfect so what will happen there is no base condition currently so we'll decide the base condition what to put okay console.log n so 3 got printed 3 got printed so whatever getting is printed now so i'm writing it here 3 got printed putting it so you know it's got printed then after this line it comes to line number four print numbers n minus one so i'll call p so basically it's calling p2 right do you know the value of p2 at this point you will say no because like the function has run for three how do i know the value of p2 okay so no problem i don't know the value of p2 so till i don't know the value of p2 i cannot extend so somehow i have to find the value of p2 once the value of p2 is calculated this function will end at line number five so i'll write here line number five right so that we will remember and I, you will say anyway i'll remember yeah but in a big programs you will not remember which we'll see in some big examples so let's make a habit of writing like this okay after like this cannot continue to line number five because this is unknown so i have to calculate p2 and tell him what is the value of p2 p2 okay this is p2 in which n is 2 since the value of n is 2 what is getting printed like how this p2 calculate p2 so just this p2 p means like print numbers no? i've taken a shortcut here instead of print numbers and writing p but because of n lazy okay two so print numbers two two will go here what will happen console.log two two will get printed perfect again this will come to the third same problem p1 n is two no so it will give p1 i don't know p1 i'll not move ahead please give me the value of p1 they are like what is it did they fell no they will not proceed ahead until you tell them what is the value and after that it will also return to line number five so you can imagine these like individual uh, function calls with like two value of n as two now imagine this as individual function call with value as one right n is one so this will be p0 right you don't know the value of p0 so again you'll like once you know it you'll return to line number five and here what printed one got printed how because the value of n was one so uh, take it like an individual function call n is one console.log n one is here print uh, numbers n minus one so p0 perfect i guess you got this point so now it will come to p0 but i have already achieved my goal that means three to one is printed i have to print the numbers from n three to one right so this will be my base condition base condition means where i have to stop so i'll say so now you get like p0 that means n is 0 no? here i can make a base condition that means if n is 0 okay so i'll write it here for now i'll write it with this pen so if n is 0 n equal equal 0 what to do you will say uh, we'll just put a like what do you say a return empty return that means nothing okay uh, we are not giving a empty return means technically nothing right okay so you got nothing so p0 gave you nothing it gave you something which is nothing okay so p0 did, uh, did not give you anything like it gave you nothing basically okay p0 work is over like it just wasted our time did not give us anything and then i went to line number five which is the end okay this is that what does p1 give you we will say one no even did not give you printed one but basically give you means returned there is nothing ret getting returned in this function right okay so it did not give you anything it to also it will return to line number five and now you'll say why i'm returning i'm returning for a very simple case like this is p0 right okay so since this is p0 okay like at this point it was waiting for the value to be calculated once the value is calculated it has to proceed ahead so it proceeded ahead it was waiting for p1 to get calculated once p1 got calculated it got the value similarly this will wait for p2 get calculated p2 got calculated it did not give you anything no problem it will say you wasted my time man and then it came to line number five okay so what three to one perfect you got this how this works right i'll take a lot of examples so you'll understand it okay 
I guess you should understand it 20 to 30 percent. Uh, okay, not completely. This is quite expected. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now let me write the condition here. Base condition is this if n is equal equal 0, please return perfect. So now let's run it. So we'll know where it will stop. Okay, here's the run button. 3 to 1, perfect. Got it. So what is this tree method I was talking about? Tree method is also a simple method. Okay, so tree method is simple. Uh, leave the base condition, talk about this. Okay, so P3, it will start with, now it has two lines, no? So two branches. Step number one, three is printed. And step number two, print n minus two. So these two you'll write at the same level. Okay, so this will be like P2, no? Now P2 will like again a second function call. So this you will make it like when you pass 2 here. So this condition is still false. So 2 and P1. So okay. P1 will be 1 and P0. At 0, the, uh, your uh, call will stop, right? Because of the base condition. Okay, so let it stop. How to find an answer? This is more a trick like to find the answer, okay? Not to understand recursion too clearly, but yeah. It gives you the answer very fast okay this is the way start from here like question 8 okay so this th the number whichever you got 3 snake will go to each and every point you got 2 you got 1 perfect so okay this is the way you like we basically happen and you got the answer 3 to 1 so of course there are a lot of cases and other things that are pending here but be chill, we'll take a lot of examples here so that you can figure out what is recursion. Just I have set one example to get a little idea of it, but with next three to four examples, will be very clear and the concept like loops you are so confident about, right? That confidence you'll get in recursion. Okay, awesome. Okay, so before I go, I will tell you an interesting thing. And that interesting thing is do like and subscribe my videos and put a comment if you have any doubts. Okay, I'll try to clear it as soon as possible. So see you, tata, bye-bye.